Using us tonight, I'm Steve Irvin. A massive fuel spill causing an environmental nightmare and problems in one Fountain Hills neighborhood. Tonight, only on ABC 15, Stephanie Hockridge is taking action to see what kind of impact this is making. And uh, Stephanie, happened nearly two weeks ago here, and crews have been even working through the Thanksgiving holiday trying to clean this up. Yeah, they have. A truck spilled 2,300 gallons of fuel, but after all of the rain that we got last week, officials say the gas soaked pretty deeply into the ground, so cleanup, of course, is going to take a while. And Unfortunately, that's going to put on hold some pretty big plans for one Valley family. And I planted all these here. But these days, all Tom Oak doesn't get to enjoy the view or the, the fresh air. It, it was just like if you stuck your head in the, into the gas tank. And it's easy to see why. They got it all boarded off. On November 17th, more than 2,000 gallons of gas spilled close to his home near Shea and the Beeline Highway. I was afraid to barbecue. Because that's open flame, you know, I don't want to blow everybody up over there. It was kind of scary. Scary for Tom because when crews put up a dam to keep the gas from flowing down Saguaro Boulevard, it ended up in this culvert instead. And that's right, right by my house. I mean, and it was coming out and dumping into the dirt and it made a big puddle there. Fountain Hills officials say they've tested for contamination and the results confirmed about two football fields worth of soil and a quarter mile of the road came back positive for fuel. So crews are busy digging it up and putting it here. Those are all full of contaminated dirt. Dozens of dumpsters line Saguaro Boulevard. And from Tom's back porch, it's not the prettiest view, which means plans to move closer to his wife's family aren't happening. It just doesn't gel very good about selling property right next to a gas dump. You know? But his biggest worry, the fact that crews are using heavy machinery right outside his home and a single mistake could spark disaster. I just have to put my trust in them and have faith in God that not, we're not going to get blown up. Well, we are expecting more test results to come back next week. And Steve, we're told officials are waiting for those before deciding exactly how to proceed with the cleanup from here. Yeah, two football fields, just a massive a amount of earth there. Thanks so much, Stephanie.